of you may be wondering, why does a bag of chips expand at a higher altitude? This is a video brought to you by Daryl, Tyra, Nicole, Boni, and Tamara. I hope you guys find this informative and detailed. At higher altitudes, the air is thinner. What do people mean by that? I'm sure everyone knows of this unique property of gases that sets it apart from both the solid and liquid state. Any guesses? Don't think so hard. That's right, air can be compressed. The left portion of this diagram shows that there are more gas particles at a certain volume at a higher pressure, whereas the right side of this diagram shows lesser gas particles at the same volume at a lower pressure. Pause here to ponder. What does pressure have to do with a bag of chips? Here are some pictures of a bag of chips placed at a higher altitude compared to one placed at sea level. A bag of chips is produced under normal temperature and standard pressure. This picture depicts a scene of how the air in the bag of chips expands at a higher altitude, in this case, 2,000 meters above the sea level. An ideal gas is a gas that obeys all the gas laws and of course the gas equation which is PV equals to NRT. P stands for pressure, V stands for volume, N the amount in moles, R is a constant and T for temperature. When you make P the subject, the equation derived is pressure equals to number of moles times R times temperature over the volume. When the number of moles decreases, the pressure also decreases. Therefore, at a higher altitude, when the number of moles decreases, so will the pressure. To conclude, let's recap what this video has taught us so far. Air can be compressed. An ideal gas is a gas that obeys all the gas laws and the gas equation, PV equals to NRT. Next, at a higher altitude, the air is thinner. As a result, bags of chips expand due to the higher pressure in the bag compared to the surrounding air pressure.